Hi, my name is Ethan Roberts. I'm a music education and saxophone performance major at the University of Oklahoma. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys when it's best to use this B flat versus side B flat, and also when to use side C versus normal middle C. So first we're going to cover the fingerings. So if we address uh, this B flat first, what you're going to do is you're going to just, you're only using one finger, your left index finger, and you're going to cover both this top pearl and the one directly below it. This one's called the bis key. And you're going to cover both of these pearls with just this one finger and that will give you a B flat. Now if you can also get out that same pitch another way which is called side B flat. And that the fingering for that one is you're going to finger a middle A, so first and middle finger on the left hand and then right and with the side of your right hand you're going to hit this bottom side key right here and that will give you the same pitch. Now what's important about this is when to identify when you should use bis B flat or side B flat. Bis B flat is great for some scales such as F major, B flat major. Um, just scales are just any passages that don't require a B flat to B change in technique because that going from bis B flat to middle B flat like this is called rolling the bis and that's absolutely forbidden in the saxophone world. You cannot ever roll the bis. Um, it just causes a smeared sound and it ruins the fluency of the technique really. So whenever you're doing um, B, B flat to B or B to B flat vice versa, it's best to use the side fingering I just showed you. So that would be in chromatic passages or just your chromatic scale and that kind of stuff. Um, next for side C, it is, the fingering is the your left pointer finger on the B key and then with the side of your right hand you're gonna hit this side, this middle side C key, the middle one. And that's gonna give you the same pitch as if you were doing a normal middle C with just your left middle finger. <laughs> So the, it's best to use this um, solely in chromatic passages or if you're doing a B to C trill. Simply because if you were doing a B to C trill this way, you, the alignment of switching back and forth between your index and middle finger can cause what is known as blips or just really kind of inconsistencies in the sound because it can be, even for experienced players, can be difficult to get this middle and pointer finger down perfectly with each other. Um, so it's best if you can reduce that amount of motion and just use this one key to go back and forth. Versus it just sounds a much easier using the side C fingering. So hopefully that got that helped you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.